We welcome you back. Game one of the NBA play-in tournament between the Hornets and Pacers in Indianapolis was best summed up by Charlotte's Miles Bridges. They played like they wanted to be in the playoffs, and we didn't, he said. The season ended for the Hornets with the sting of a 144-117 beatdown, a game in which the Pacers never trailed and led by as many as 39. Sorry I gave it all away, but here come the highlights. LaMelo Ball and the Hornets, <laughs> number 10. It's so DeMata funny. Sabonis and the Pacers, number 9. He was so eloquent and <laughs> said, called it a beatdown. <laughs> <laughs> so they were there in a beatdown. <laughs> Doug McDermott, 14 points in the first five minutes. Say his name right, Ernie Dougie McBuckets. Yes, Bucket. indeed. Hey, Charlotte, this wasn't a regular season game. Like, y'all came out like it was a regular season game. I think Miles Richards said that. From the F in Fieldhouse, he beats the shot clock, does Devontae Graham, but that's about the only what Charlotte's What's Hornets. it called? The F in Fieldhouse. It's oh. called the F in? <laughs> okay, I did not know that. <laughs> you threw me off. Yeah. Ernie, I was like, Ernie, F cussing F up in here. in Fieldhouse. Okay, gotcha. All right. Wow. Up the ball. I might have to get me another sponsor. What'd you think <laughs> about what'd you think about Indiana tonight there, Chuck Street? Well, they played great. And first of all, every player played great. That's what's weird about it. Everybody played great. Mm. Uh, these just too easy. Just yeah. too easy. You can't give up 70 points. It had Malcolm Brogdon back in there too. He had 16 and 8 after missing the last 10 games. You, you, you look like Golden State out there. You, you can't give up 70 points in a Watch playoff game and a half. Come on, come on, play. Come on man. Come on, man. Now, right there. I guess you can't give up 69 points either. All right. That's crazy. Oh, it is too small. Too little. Oh, uh, Sabonis had 14, 21 rebounds, That's awful. nine assists. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh, oh boy. Mm. What'd you call T.J. McConnell, Kenny? Uh, uh, Scott Brooks 2.0. <laughs> That's how Scott Brooks played when he was in the league. Yes, yeah, 17 Same. points. Marvel Super basketball. active, very hustle, hustle to the to the every second of the beginning. Yeah. Every second. You gotta like T.J. McConnell. But this was just ridiculous. You don't get 144 points. Come on, man. Has also had five rebounds, three assists, and four steals in the game. 144 to 117, 21 and three now when they shoot 50%. Fifth time this year they've had at least 35 assists in the game. They are number two in the league in that department. Charlotte eliminated uh, on the heels of a six game losing streak to end the season. How about some post game yakety yak? It's the best when all your teammates get to score and get to have fun. and. Everybody standing up on the bench. Um, you know, I thought we had fun tonight, and I thought everybody contributed. That's the best part of tonight. And I just like the way that the guys continue to share the basketball. I think our cutting, our spacing, our screening, and the guys are looking for each other to make that extra pass. Domas is such a threat, you know, behind the three-point line, inside, so it really opens it up for me, Justin, uh, Malcolm, Doug, you know, anyone that's really playing with Doug, it's, it's crazy. You know, everyone's really focused on him because of what he's able to do and his skill set. They just came out and punched us in the mouth, and um, it was early on. It was throughout the whole game. Um, it was disappointing because obviously we needed this one um, to continue our season, but uh, they were the more aggressive team. They put a lot of energy. They had a lot of guys that played well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, nothing went right. I mean, we just got our ass whipped today. There's nothing else to it. Um, but, you know, Coach, he's, he's always positive. Um, he's telling us to get ready for next year. So the end of the line for the Hornets, meantime, the Pacers go on to play. The Washington Wizards in that game will be in Washington with the number eight seed on the line. Pacers impressed you tonight? Yeah, they did. And, you know, Malcolm Brogdon summed it up. You know, it feels good when everybody's involved and everybody's jumping up. But they play well. They play smart. They, 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 play, they play damn near great high school basketball. And, what does that mean? Know, and let me finish. You know, okay. Charlotte Hornets play dumb high school defense. Like, you stand in the middle lane. A guy like T.J. McConnell should not be able to sneak around and get 280 points. Mm -hmm. T.J. McConnell should not get 17 points. So Charlotte wasn't focused. I know they're young. And, you know, they have to realize as a young team, like, you can, you can win a lot of games and, and play well, but when it comes to the playoffs, you have to turn it up an extra notch. And I actually didn't figure that out until, like, you know, my second or third year also. Like, Brian Hill and, you know, Matty Gugas and even these guys said, bro, you got to play harder. I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm averaging 33. He's like, no, you got to play harder. So... They're going to have to learn that, you know, when these uh, playoffs come around, you got to turn it up. You got to dig deep down and just turn it up. 
They're number two in the league in fast break points are the Pacers. They had 32 in this game and points in the paint, 74 to 56. Yeah, 70. That, that's that's a difference to me with, with the Pacers. They play, even though they shoot a lot of threes at times, they do get, touch the ball in the paint. The ball touches the paint by dribble or by post-up, which is unheard of in, the, in today's game. Sabonis touches the ball on the box, you know, not with the frequency of these guys, but close to it. Um, and I'm talking about Shaq and, and Chuck. But the other thing is, you, know, the, you talk about the uh, Hornets, the lack of attention to detail and the attention to detail in, with the Pacers. That's pay, playoff basketball. So when I say that means I'm so in tune and players are so in tune. I just remember on the bench when Phoenix would yell out, you know, uh, 15. We'd be like, oh, Barkley's coming up. You got guys screaming on the bench. Barkley's coming over, set the pick. Uh, AC Green's got, like everybody's in tune to what the plays are. You didn't see that today. Yeah, I, I was disappointed in Charlotte. You didn't see uh, it. You know, Ernie, me and you thought they were going to win tonight, but not only did they not even come close to winning, lack of detail, no energy, they were not prepared. That game was over at the end of the first quarter. That game when, was, it, when it was 40 to 24. It, yeah. Like, when it, you, you, you're not, you, if you give up 40 points in a quarter and seven and a half on the road, you not you got zero chance of winning, but they're young. I'm gonna give them a pass. But I was very disappointed. Well, that's the youthfulness. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying though, knowing that, what detail is yeah. is meaning like your first option is not gonna work. Your second option may work, or your third, but your first option off of a pick and roll is not gonna work. Yeah, that's attention. But, but Kenny, the one thing, one of the things I admire about, uh, forget his name, Tom Thibodeau. Thibodeau mm -hmm. with the Knicks. The Knicks play harder than any team in the NBA. And Kenny always talks about it. That's the thing that a lot of teams, like you're gonna win. 40 games. 40 games if, if you, you just play hard, play hard every if night. you just play and hard. And the Knicks, uh, Julius Randle's had a terrific year. Quickly has had a terrific year. Uh, Barrett is, play, is coming along. D, but D they, Rose. Yes, D Rose was a great pickup. But they play hard every single night. That Charlotte team tonight, they didn't play hard at all. You can't play. That, and, and that was what's disappointing. End of the season for the Hornets, who on April 2nd were the number four team in the East at 25 and 23. That's the night Gordon Hayward got hurt. They've gone 8 and 17 with him on the shelf. And they finish it out losing in the play-in tournament in a game they never led, 144 to 117. And so it's over for Charlotte, which <laughs> hasn't won a series since 2002 and will That's not get what the I chance. That's the same thing yeah. I thought. <laughs> he shoots a shot from yeah. the F in three-point yeah, line. From the F in field house. Uh, <laughs> I, I love That's, it. It's really not what my intention was, folks. And if, Yes, right. it was. I, I said, what did yes, it was? We listened to everything, say, Ernie. He shot that from the F in I was looking at where he was. I should have said the I in Fieldhouse. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. It sounds yeah. a little much better, though. You have.